Praise the Lord. Welcome everyone to Jesus Delights Worldwide Sunday Morning Devotional Hours with Pastor Brayna and uh, Pastor Delight. We are welcoming you together as a family and as a friend, as a well-wisher and a partner here with us. We are welcoming you to join us together, worshipping the Lord and you know, loving His name this morning. The word of the Lord says that, Is there anything too hard for Him? Many of the times that we are involved in our battles, it's out of our own foolishness that we, you know, we invite troubles into our, you know, into our things. Of course, we do have circumstances. We also do have demonic powers that keep troubling us. You know what, this morning, whatever that is, it might be your own shortcoming or it might be some parts that you might be going through and, you know, in difficulty, I want to welcome you now that you believe in the power of the blood of Jesus. That you would believe in the name of Jesus who says, is there anything too hard for me? Let's look to the Lord in prayer. Let's every one of us here at studio and all across the world who are watching us, let's look to the Lord in prayer. Precious Heavenly Father, we want to thank you together. We want to thank you for giving us your son. Thank you for giving us a precious gift of God. Thank you for the promises of God that we have, that we can celebrate. Thank you for the name of Jesus. Today, even as we lift up the name of Jesus, I pray that your name, O oh Lord, be really be adored and be magnified and be worshipped. You deserve all our praise and our worship. We come to you this morning as we place ourselves before you, only to love you more, only to honor you more. Fill this time with your presence, break every cord, rebuke every darkness. Heal every sickness. Break, Lord, every disturbances, be it in network or be it, Lord, in through mobile or through the circumstances in the home, that you would cover this time, that you would fill this time with God's wonderful presence. In Jesus' most precious name we offer and pray. And everyone said, Amen. Let's worship the Lord this morning by singing these choruses. A medley of songs, blessed be the name of the Lord. The name of the Lord is a strong and mighty tower. His name is El Shaddai. His name is El Gibor. He is a God and there is nothing, you know, that is too hard for him. Let's worship him today.
I will declare his Lord with praise. I will say this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice what Jesus made me glad. He is made me glad. He is made me glad. I will rejoice what he has made me glad. He is made me glad. He is made me glad. I will rejoice for he is with me God. I will, I will adjourn his cage with the healing of my heart. I will adjourn his cage with the healing of my I will say this is the day that the Lord has won. I will rejoice for he is with me God. Jesus, Jesus make me glad. Jesus make me glad. With joy for Jesus make me glad. Jesus make me glad. Jesus make me glad. He poured in the oil and the wine, the kind that restored my soul. He saw me bleeding and dying on the dirty cold road. He poured in the oil and the wine. Jesus, 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 I got him on my mind. Jesus, 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 I got him on my mind. Jesus, 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 I got him on my mind. I got him on my mind. Jesus, I got him on my mind. Everyone, Jesus, 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 I got him on my mind. Jesus, 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 I got him on my mind. I got Jesus on my mind. He put in the oil and the wine. The kind that was destroyed my soul. He saw me bleeding and dying and tearing cold. He put in the oil and the wine. Again, he put in the oil and the wine. Restored my soul. He's running down the Jericho road. He pulled in the oil and the wine. Jesus, 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 I got him on my mind. Jesus, Jesus, everyone sing it. I got him on my mind. Jesus, 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 I got him on my mind. I got Jesus on my mind. Jesus, oh Jesus, 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 I got him on my mind. Jesus, 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 I got him. I got Jesus on my mind. I got Jesus on my mind. I got Jesus on my mind. Oh, what a wonderful Savior and Jesus we have. He's called Savior of our soul. Let's worship the Lord by singing up another song. This song talks about the goodness of our God. He is a God who is a good God. In the book of Zechariah, chapter 2, verse 5, it says, you know, I myself am going to be a wall of fire around you, and I myself will be the glory within. The goodness of God is the glory of God that comes and fills your heart. The glory of God doesn't just speak about the trials and the testing times that you go through. It speaks about God's precious goodnesses that his mercy endureth forever. Let's worship the Lord. Come on everyone together. As we worship, worship him, let's sing this song together. Lord, your good and your mercy endureth forever. Forever. People from every nation and tongue from 
generation to generation we worship you hallelujah hallelujah we worship you for who you are we worship you hallelujah hallelujah we worship you Oh, you are good. Sing it with me once again. Lord, you are good and your mercy endures forever. We go on. You are good and your mercy endures forever. Lord, you are good and your mercy and you rest for Lord, you are good and your mercy and you rest for People from every nation, from generation to generation, we worship you. Jesus said, I am the way. I 
am the truth and I am the life. There are many of you who are watching us right now who know about Jesus but haven't received confirmation about God's precious promise of an assurance of His salvation in His life. Today God wants to call you. He wants to tell you that He is here. He is working, He is moving. If you can open your hearts today and ask Him to fill you. He would fill your heart with worship. He would fill your heart with God's wonderful manifestation of His glory. If you can allow Him. If you can allow Him. And say, God, we come to you today. Lord, I give you my heart today. Lord, I give you my soul today. I give you my all. I give you my all. Precious Jesus. Precious Jesus. Come on, let's close our eyes together. As Pastor Brainy leads us in another worship song. Let's thank the Lord for God's wonderful goodness. Great is the faithfulness Oh Lord, my Father There is no shame Will be great is the faithfulness, great is the faithfulness, morning by morning, you must see the sea. Come on, let's give it up. 
nothing compared to him my dear friend there is nothing compared to him there is none compared to him he is the savior of our soul Perceive things. May I be 
there's still ego in your life that has not yet been nailed to the cross there's so much of self knowledge that is there working in your life that is stopping you come on tell him today come on tell him today this morning and say lord you are the potter pray that i'll give myself to you that you would mold me and make me lord There are many of you who are having anger issues. Many of you are having irritating issues. Many of you are having such misunderstandings in your heart. It's your character. It's your nature. It's been coming to doubting, doubting your friend, doubting your husbands, doubting your wives. You know, it's time that you come up to the Lord and say, Jesus. I need to change my nature. I want to change my attitude, the way I speak, oh Lord. I want to be a blessing. Pray that you would mold my nature here today. The way I see, the way I think, the way I'm speaking on people, the way I'm perceiving things, oh Lord. Riddle my tongue. Harness my mind. Discipline my nature. Come on, everyone together. Let's ask Him, Lord. Change the part of my heart which is not obedient, which is not having instant obedience to Lord, which is not in conducive, which is not sensitive to Your Spirit. Pray that You change my heart. Pray for a miracle here in the name of Jesus. Lord, as we sing this prayer according to Ezekiel 36, 26 and 27 you would perform a miracle in the lives of your people even as they sing this chorus, O Lord a miracle of God a miracle of heaven in the name of Jesus that you would make and you would build your people that the Lord, that they'll be able to speak that they'll be able to claim God's special provision that they will know the power of born again experience that they will know the wondrous working of the Holy Ghost and the wondrous word and the rhema manifestation of God in their lives this morning oh we pray for God's special miracle turn around in the lives of your people Holy Spirit, come flow through me. Holy Spirit, come flow through me. And may my life what it ought to be.
transformational work of your God's grace to come and to flow in the lives of your people like never before. You would fill your people, you would fill the land, you would fill the generation, you would fill the homes, O Lord, with God's wondrous working of your authority. To God be all glory, honor, and all praise. What a wonderful God we have. It's indeed great to worship the Lord and to give Him praise. Even as we are, you know, worshipping the Lord, you can sense angels coming and surrounding you. You can have the wondrous working of God that fills your heart and sets your feet, your spirit free to be able to receive His word and to be led in His way. Pastor Brainy is going to sing for us another small hymn and this hymn says, Guide me, O thou great Jehovah. And after that, we are going to have the word meditation. So sit with your Bible. As Pastor Brainy ministers to us through this small hymn, we are going to get ready to listen to the word of God.
Blessed be His name. Let's get ready to listen to the Word of God now. Such what warm welcome this morning to sit and meditate from His Word this morning. Come, let's look to the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you this morning. We want to thank you for giving us your son, Jesus. We want to thank you, Lord, for giving us your precious Holy Ghost. As we want to worship you, we want to give you praise and we want to give you thanks. We want to welcome you, Lord, that you would come and you would minister to our hearts this morning. And Lord, that you would set your people free from every bondage that tries to keep them down holy. Pray and as we speak your goodness, we speak your life, we speak your goodness, we speak your covering here. In Jesus' name we offer and pray. Everyone said a big and mighty, Amen, Amen and Amen. This morning I would want you to turn your, your Bible to a very special theme. This theme is got to do with the wonder of salvation and the works of darkness. The wonder of salvation and the works of sal darkness that surrounding and will continue to hold us. And uh, I would want to uh, bring each and every one of you all to this very special hour of study together with the world. Now, as the Lord spoke to Abraham, we walk, you know, we see that Abraham walking through the walk of faith, he's been walking through a land. The book of Genesis chapter 15, verse 18 to 21, it says, on that day, the Lord made a covenant with Abraham, Abraham and said, To your descendants I give this land. From the wadi of Egypt to the great river, the Euphrates, the land of Kenites, Kenizzites, Kadmonites, Hedatites, Perizzites, Raphites, Amorites, Canaanites, Gigashites, and Jebusites. Now, you see that Abram was entering into a, into a land which was surrounded by ten particular spirits or groups, a territorial authorities, and each of us who has been called to live by faith. Remember, salvation is a gift of God. It is received in your heart as it, as it is a gift. By grace, through faith, you give your heart to Jesus. And you start to believe in the promises of God. But as you see, as you see that the promises of God keep, you know, coming towards you and you start to claim them, pray for them, just like Abraham has faced these ten giants, the wonder of salvation will actually lead you through the works of darknesses which has been already been established or some new that would try to come up and try to bind you up. Now, no one is exempted from the attack of the enemy. But everyone is guaranteed a victory as you walk and as you keep progressing. It is a battle at every point of your life. In different phases, you start to see them. So the first group of you know, people that Abraham had to conquer was Kenites. Now the meaning of Kenites means fabricators, lies, false accusations. I repeat, 
false accusation you know the this is such a spirit such an such an attitude or such an realm that you have to pass through every born again christian has to face these ten groups the works of darknesses with jesus has broken it on the cross you and i have to stand and stake our claim of authority of redemption and then we we push forward we present ourselves holy and blameless before him and continue to re, you know establish the wonders and the powers of salvation amen now this accusations the way it works within our lives will try to make you self defensive you forget the actual roots and try to go into things and try to justify why you believe in Jesus or why you believe in certain wonders of God why you have to believe the promises of God say for example you know you you know let's take you know booze or drinking why do you even have to drink so you know what's wrong if you drink little you know just a peg you know it's not going to do any harm you're not you know you're not getting drowsy you're not getting all inebriated condition just just something you know for fun now every time you start to live by faith you start to face the works of darknesses in a subtle but very destructive form so when you try to answer them saying you know it is my belief you know that is something that i believe then they will try to ask you start to put accusations fabricating and lies forgetting the very root call of your salvation instead of thinking what god wants to do what he has done on the cross the lies and accusation will start to make you focus on the act or the activity here on earth so you have to face or pass through through this clan called kenites sometimes the spirits come to totally divert you from what god is exactly doing sometimes we allow ourselves you know into this lies so much so that we just get so absorbed into that world and we get exhausted you get your mind exhausted battling thinking trying to answer things because it starts to affect your personality your very freedom is questioned your very power of the blood of jesus is actually starts to get questioned as you receive jesus in your heart the wonder of salvation is now being made to pass the litmus test of the works of darkness which is called accusations fabrications and lies and then it will be something like this as more and more people get involved into this kind of an you know things around your life it is like vehicles tires getting lost its power dealing you just don't know when you skid and when you just fall off the road and then those people will be there ready to laugh at your fall saying you know this person you know wanted to say you know all spiritual and all that now see how he's fallen they really see you know how you know they are going through this challenge see you know they would want you to 
they they exhaust you they literally take out the refreshing renewing power of salvation from your life by making you by pulling you into situations and things which speak which start to cover your mind so this morning the lord would want you to be set be, be set free it says in book of revelation chapter 12 verse 10 it says you know the blood of jesus through the blood of the lamb you can overcome every accusation in the book of isaiah chapter 54 verse 17 it says you know no weapon formed against you shall prosper no tongue that rises or sets itself up against the work or the wonder of salvation cannot stand so when people blame on you when people put accusations on you or when somebody is trying to you know keep poking on what you have done in the past and try to keep pulling it back over and over and over again and trying to make you more guilty by not allowing you to live a life of a freed cleansed sanctified person Oh today the Lord would want to come and reestablish his promise with your life. He would want to come and reestablish his promise with your life. He is the savior of your soul. Your life is imbibed. Your life is so intricately being built being born again in him and your spirit is the exact representation and the exact nature which is got the capability that of the holy ghost so whoever the holy spirit is your spirit has been given or been made righteous and been given an opportunity to know to receive to communicate to speak to rebuke what a wonderful god what a wonderful wonder of god salvation is god salvation is not just you know you come out of sin the power of god salvation is for you today as you face darkness in your life the first group of people that you meet every one of you meets is called as is called as fabricator lies and accusation Amen. Amen. Let's now look at the second team or the second group. Now these are called Kenizzites. Now Kenizzites, the meaning of the Kenizzites is possessiveness. Possessiveness. Now there are very types of possessiveness. in husband and wife between parents and children you know you start to see there are so much of possessiveness that eats up your salvation and the power of god sanctification now this possessiveness will start to build and create in you a harvest called i am trying to be more spiritual and competition competing against others you start to compete with others you start to say i am better than you i am holier than thou 
So you start to compete or try to put down the other person or try to say, you know, he's just, he's, he's, he's no bugger, you know, he's nothing much. I know much better than him. It leads to a boasting life. It leads to self subservient self-righteousness. This possessiveness is got to do with copying someone else. You try to live someone else. Possessiveness. You try to enact, you try to live, and you try to find your identity in the very nature of your possessiveness. Now the wonder of salvation is this, that the Holy Spirit has made you so free, so uniquely designed to receive God's love and unconditional freedom where he doesn't set you to some bondage. He doesn't put you to some bondage. He wants you, but he doesn't put you into bondage. His instruction, his advice, is but that gives life. John 6. In the, in the gospel according to John chapter 6 verse 36 onwards it says the spirit gives life oh today as you get prepared to listen to his word have you given your heart to Jesus if you have given your heart to Jesus along the path of your journey of saved one have you become a victim of possessiveness or somebody's possessiveness and fail to live to do your part? There are some of you who are victims of someone else's possessiveness. Today we're going to, God willing, we will learn a little bit more on this or we'll come back next week. This has got to do with Jezebel. A one small character features of it. My dear friend, this morning, the Lord is asking you, I am, see, I have put before you the wonderful promises of God. Every promise in the Bible is yours. Every scripture Every promise that God has made in Christ Jesus and the price that has been paid is yours. For every saved person, the promises of God, God has promised them. But are you along the way have bound yourself and has been made a slave. Let's look at another group of people. Now, these are called Cadmonites. Now, Cadmonites, the meaning of it means ancient ways, traditions. Where tradition is equated to the revelation of Scripture. I repeat. Once again, let's see that picture. Ancient ways, it's got to do with revelation in the scripture that you, God wants to, it is put up into some traditions. You know, there is a slogan which says, old wine is good enough. We do not need new wine. Why? Because we have always dealt it this way. It is called also a religious spirit. The Holy Ghost. The revelation of God. 
is limited or been subserved or been attached it's been attached to the systems and to the understanding of you and mine missing out on the very purpose as to why even why god has initiated that why did god initiate passover why did god initiate feasts why did god initiate offerings why did god initiate tabernacle why did he made you and me as a family what is the purpose that you know there were so many wars why is it that many angels angels came into the battle and killed more people than the very israel israelite soldiers you know in war why was that the many traditions the systems and the culture have defined or has bound the very revelation of jesus that's why even now when you pray when jesus comes and speaks to you you are not able to recognize you don't know is it your own thoughts is it jesus or is it a devil so this morning you know you can't reach your destiny until you face this giants let's go to you know uh, you know that there, there is an there is an incident in the bible where king saul you know while fighting with the enemies he says no one should eat anything till the evening till all the enemies rooted see many a times many of us keep battling the things without receiving the proper word of god you are saved your holy ghost fell you are warring the warfare without sufficient and proper conditioning of his word without recharging you see an f1 formula race no matter how speed they go the tires the refueling has to be made and it has to be done if it ain't you would have known the condition and why do cars just burst out into flames now joshua jonathan sorry saul son jonathan he said to his servants eat honey on the way to the conquest he was defying a natural order given by his father saul now he didn't really know about that order whereas his dad said no one should eat anything and they were fighting the battle many of us keep warding of devils keep praying and keep crying before god without adequate knowledge understanding as to who our enemy is who is attacking us even after we have been born again the next group this has got to do with hittites okay we got something very unique here it's also called as terror okay it's also known as terror it's a spirit of terror it's a, it's a spiritual paralysis that you and i go through it is like a black you know man you know who's who's just you know the a terror that that just comes upon your life now moses was also asked to wipe out these people groups but he was asked only seven people groups not 10 why because the first three abraham cleaned up in genesis 15 so in deuteronomy 7 chapter verse 1 when god speaks to moses he only said only seven groups have been left 
वास्तव गॉड डील्स विद ईच एंड एवरी वन ऑफ यू अकॉर्डिंग टू द एरिया बट रिमेंबर एवरी ग्रुप एवरी एरिना has to be conquered why because he is a conqueror you can't let any group just okay i'll put it later on they are going to come back to you now or tomorrow and going to affect your entire walk with god and they're going to make you totally blind now the next group that you know that we are speaking about is terror hitites now this group it's got to do with spiritual paralysis paralysis it makes you afraid as to not put your steps of faith by not trusting in god many people they take their own call they pray born again but they can do a mistake in the decision let it be business let it be their marriages or let it be any major decision mistakes can be made and we have a slogan to err is human and to forgive is divine there is fear paralysis that is striking a born again person it keeps coming up and try to hold you down now there is another people group this name group is called perizzites the wonder of salvation is also limited by this work of darkness now literally perizzites means scorter what do i mean by scorter the very nature and attitude that comes into human beings a born again person i can't do this thing i can't change this thing why try i can't make any difference so why should i be involved the spirits of darkness hover around this realm making you stay under this zone as long as possible why because the moment you start to step out by faith miracles will keep happening when you pray you will see the power of god salvation flowing through your testimony so what does the devil do he will never give you an opportunity to share a testimony to someone yeah you've been praying but that opportunity is stolen away so this morning church you know the lord wants to speak to you if god's salvation is a wonder god has given you the authority to break the powers of darkness salvation is one of the bestest thing that can happen to any one of us you might say pastor how ezekiel 36 26 27 says i will give a new spirit i will give a new spirit and i will put my spirit in you i will put my spirit in you i will make you to walk in the statue in the decrees ezekiel 36 26 27 says i am going to do and perform a medical miracle i am going to take out your heart of stone your feelings your desires your hurt your brokenness he is able to take it out and is going to give a new but did this miracle happen but pastor i don't know if all this thing has happened so the wonder of salvation is not complete in many of you so and when you start to face the giant you become a bakra 
when i say bakra you know in Tel- in hindi it means you know it, it's like you became a scapegoat you become a scapegoat by going and fighting something which you are not actually prepared for many of us just because we are saved we just keep jumping and driving out demons devils you know do this and that without having receiving god's assurance and then filling and being taught and being trained your every part of your body literally being trained to operate by the holy ghost this is what it happens let's look at another people group now this group is called refites or hivites refaim the the literal meaning of refaim means giants it causes you to flee run away give up and you would say i can't do anything i surrender even when god is asking you to do you are not ready to get up and go you will find good enough reasons because it is a spirit which makes you give up in your battle you're not ready to fight it you are like pastor i'm praying for 5 years 7 years no change i give up now that is called a white spirit or refine group and when trouble comes we start to question ourselves did i really hear from god did god ask me to do all these things it starts to set a stage to to being a coward it's like your back is not protected armor is there in the front so when you give up and show your back to the devil he will come and he will wound you he will come and he will wound you because satan attacks us from the back you might have been wearing you know a, a shield you know pastor brainy has been leading us through you know past weeks he's been leading us through those wonderful scriptures helmet of salvation breastplate of righteousness belt of truth sword of the spirit you know we are you know we have been the entire armor shield of faith and then you have you know gospel sandals of gospel so you have an entire armor in the front but you have nothing in the back so you don't know when how the devil will try to come and will try to you know poke you from the back you you never know how he comes and he you know how he comes and he literally squeezes by hurting now this giants come through this question called is this really from the lord did god really say this to you i think he did not say that because if you have done it this won't happen so he is quick to judge what god is doing when you go through trials when you go through tribulations when you go through tough times now the spirits are assigned specifically to come and attack you and try to test your faith 
the very core of your salvation is questioned they will even ask are you saved at all if you are saved what happened when job was down battling you know how the reasoning with his friends was going on much higher than you know the debates in the theological circles today are you having debates in your mind is somebody challenging the very call of god in your life is somebody challenging the very power of the blood of jesus are you trying to hide away <coughs> lord is calling you today tell you you are not you are you are mine the book of isaiah 43 verse 1 says be not for i have redeemed thee be not you are mine when you walk through the valleys when you walk through the darkest times when you are battling sicknesses which are not living it's time to head back to the wonder of god's salvation and the beauty and the power of god that's been made available for you the next a uh, group of spirits now this amorites the literally the meaning of amorites means sayer s a y e r sayer now it is a very subtle giant but it's but it's meant to create inferiority in you and self doubt now the very power of god is questioned in your life it starts to create all confusions in your head it starts to create all confusions let's see that pic clearly oh my god it looks like your head is just being blown away with all sorts of questions that just keep coming over your mind why this why that and you always feel people are talking about you the sign that you are being battling these demons of amorites giants you will feel that always somebody is talking somewhere about you there is hallucinations there is there now this is where hallucinations actually operate the the hallucinations that people are facing in their lives is because they are saved they are born again they are out from bondage but go back into slavery because the tool of the enemy the the disguise the the works of darkness is so subtle it starts to question your very forgiveness of god in your life you will start to feel i am the topic of conversation you are always concerned what people are saying about you instead of what jesus has just spoken to you in the bible today what he has called you what he has named you how he has engraved you in his hand you forget about that and you start to worry about who is speaking about what 
you have done not past has been done over in your life it brings about a, a spirit call i'm not going to live long you have a very dull outlook you start to fade off the joy starts to fade off and the spirit of heaviness you'll see that in in the book of isaiah 61 a spirit of heaviness comes and settles over your shoulders and you know what there are many people whose shoulders are bent like this there is so much of confusion now this amorite spirit is uh, are the people group that you meet after you're born again not before after you're born again after you take up the cross after you hold on to the power of the blood of jesus and say i am saved now this is the very time your question and your authenticity of your salvation is starting to get to be question now there is another people group called canaanites a very famous people groups the literal meaning of canaanites canaan canaan canaanites okay literally it means zealous you know zealous for god you know zealous it can be zealous for anything this people group this spirit they are involved in such high boasting it's called premature promotion i remember i happen to see one of a very famous running race in olympics what happened was now it was uh, i believe it is uh, you know the the longest race so there were many laps some 16 laps i think each lap is about 200 meters so it's a huge you know huge you know lots of work that went so in the end one of you know the the front guy who was running you know he was so busily excited that you know he just reached and he he turned behind and he he was just celebrating even before he crossed the line only to see that the person who was behind he just crossed over and then he lost that precious gift of hard work he deserved it but he missed it due to over zealousness what is that over zealousness premature promotion many of us do the same thing pastor god told me to do so you you go and do things this and that you launch out into things get your hands burnt without waiting on god or for his instruction or his direction you fail to recognize god's timing just like saul missed his kingship he prematurely it 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 worked on his impatience it worked on his fear it worked on the different aspects in his life you might be born again but you can be defeated by the very zealousness that you have for god remember saul before he became paul he was persecuting there are many parents who persecute their children there are many friends 
who abuse their own friends. There are many of us who actually, you know, make fun of others prematurely without knowing what God has done for them or who Jesus is for them. Now, why I'm sharing to you all these things is the wonder of God's salvation is actually made to work in the darknesses to break, to hold, to stake the claim about how you are saved actually. If you are saved, you live a saved, you live a free life. If you are free, you are called to live free. You are not called to bondage. If Jesus truly died for you, then you truly should live together with him. Now there is another last two more you know, groups. One is Gigashites. The second one is Jebusites. Let me quickly wind them up. Now Gigashite group is got to do with a particular group called Pig. It is a spirit. It is a spirit you know, which makes you go back. Now, you know, you can, you can see this, uh, you know, in, in when, you know, when Jesus was driving away the, you know, the demons out, you know, they chose the pigs. Now, they, you know, and then the people, you know, in that village, they didn't allow Jesus to come. Now, this was at Gera Gerasins. you will have to face such unclean moments, unclean things. Many of you who are born again but speak such vulgar words, you go back. And you know, many of us say, I will show to you, you know, you want to see my true self now? You want to see my true nature now? Don't pull back my old nature. So it means that old nature is not yet crucified with Jesus. The last one is got to do with Jebushites. Now Jebushite, uh, the, 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 the proper meaning for Jebushite, you know, they are a people group too uh, in the land of Canaan. And uh, let me just give to you, you know, what exactly the, the term Jebushites mean. In Hebrew, you see them, you know, Yevus. Now, why I'm taking you back to, the, uh, to Hebrew and, you know, trying to get is, the very name, the very name of Jebus is something that God has asked you to, you know, the same kind of a thing you'll you will be facing it. All right. Um, let me just uh, give it to you the proper thing. Uh, the group of Jebusites is a group who hide and then you know who, who, who look you know like they have got nothing else now why I'm trying to because the, the place of the stay you know they, they hide things they hide things and they appear something else you hide things from God. That's why book of Psalms, you know, Psalmist says, can I hide from your spirit? Can I literally hide from your spirit? Now, Chebishai are those people who hide. These are the people groups who hide and they show themselves out to be something else. 
the region god asked abraham to claim it god asked moses to claim it. today jesus is asking you to claim your land of salvation are you hiding away from something are you running away from something do small things look too big for you are you under terror are you confused are you going through you know you know are you stuck at something confused stuck jabushai you know you you're stuck you're stuck in that you know in the place and you you don't know how to get out of that you don't know how to operate in the wonder of god's salvation so you 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 are hiding you are hiding like adam was hiding behind the tree behind leaves if they were hiding many of us hide behind things some people hide behind smile fake smile some some people hide behind you know a family name or you know many people do that my dear friend today i don't know you know if you're hiding out somewhere you don't want anyone to meet you you don't go and meet anyone you don't talk about jesus you go you live your own self you are, you you are hiding behind your own job your own world not ready to declare the power of god's salvation well the wonder of god's salvation is not meant that you are hiding you are called the light of the world salt of the earth and jesus has given his salvation to you that you would shine brighter there is a very famous song by you know the three wonderful singers george shaw you know george beverly shaw you know, wonderful singers you know uh, they sing this song this like, billy graham you know the billy graham crusade team they sing this song this little light of mine i'm going to let it shine let it shine let it shine let it shine this little light of mine i'm gonna let it shine this little light of mine i'm gonna let it shine this little light of mine i'm gonna let it shine let it shine let it shine let it shine no matter what you're going through today how big your problem is you have a wonder of god's salvation that god has called and has given to you come on pull out your socks draw out from the wells of your salvation according to isaiah chapter 12 verse 3 onwards and start claiming god's wonderful victory the power of his blood the wonder of his word the promise the affirmation of his promise the power of the holy ghost that's there to work for you and bring you out from every pit from every dungeon from every bad relationship from every negativity from every wrong decision from every accusation and from every and anything that tries to pull you down and starts to gain its control over you get ready next week we are going to meditate a little bit more deeper on the wonders of salvation and the works of darkness that it is revealed that it is manifested we are going to study deeper from the book of you know lives of jezebel the spirit of jezebel the spirit of pythons you know how demons are operating and how the wonder of god's salvation will make you shed every evil powers let's look to the lord in prayer heavenly father we want to thank you this morning we want to thank you for giving us your son jesus we want to thank you lord for you have given us your own son for us lord there are many of us who have 
yet to live in the power of God's salvation. Yes, Lord, they love you, but they are bound. It's time that you set your people free. We welcome your presence, declare your anointing, release your people from every works of darkness. Set every captive free, Lord. Every bonded person, wounded person, in the name of Jesus, I command you, devil, loosen your hold right now. In Jesus' name. Everyone said a big and mighty. Amen and amen. We are so glad that you have joined us today uh, with our worship time here. I know that you've been blessed. And if you would like to know more about it, you can go, you know, you can check up. You know, there's books in the Amazon Kindle. You know, go and just type Pastor Delight Roberts, you know, Reverend Delight Roberts, Mysteries on the Blood of Jesus. You're going to go more deep on about it. And also, you uh, we would want to pray for, you know, your, the offering that has been sent, you know, to the ministry. We would want you to come and be a part, you know, together with us as a family, you know, as covenant partners, as youngsters. You know, if you're not connected anywhere, we would want you to come and be part with our home and with our family here and the lovely ministry that, you know, the Lord is doing here. Come rejoice in the wonders of God's salvation and start declaring the power of God wherever you go. Until the time we meet next, God's love, God's strength, God's anointings be flowing in your life. As I want to close this prayer, all those who are sending their offering, their tithes, or, you know, or all those who are connected with us and would like to get connected with us, you can, you know, get the information on the screen right now. You are seeing right now the very information which you're seeing on the screen. You can please send your details there. And take down the details or take a screenshot or, you know, you can just save down. There's also scrolling that's going on so you can, you know, you, you, so you know how to reach us out. You got a prayer request, so please feel free to send it. I know that you're being blessed by the word. Do share this word. Speak about it. Go dig deeper into it. And may the power of God's salvation be released fully through you. Heavenly Father, we pray and that we bless the offering that is being sent into the ministry. Pray, Lord, that you would heal your people. Let this seed will bring about the harvest. Wonderful harvest of God. Mighty presence of dear Father. Let it be felt. Let it be released. In Jesus' name we pray. Everyone said, Amen. Joy to be there. We are here with you. And we are going to be back again next week for more Get Ready. God bless you. Have a beautiful day week and have a wonderful day up ahead. God bless you.